Hi everyone, welcome back to another Money Lessons for Kids with City and County Credit Union. My name is Brittany and today we're gonna to be talking all about a fun savings concept for kids called Save, Spend, Share. Now we'll get into the details of what those three things mean and how it can help us use our money responsibly. But before that, there's just a few things that you might need for this video and the activity that comes afterwards. First, you might want some headphones, especially if your parents don't want to hear me talk the entire time. And the other things that you'll need are just three glass jars, three envelopes, three bowls, three containers, basically just three of anything that you can put money into. And we'll talk about how we'll use those later. Do you have all those things? Are you ready? Sounds good. The first thing I want to talk about when it comes to save, spend, share is what those terms actually mean. What do save mean? What does spend mean? And what does share mean when it comes to our money? So the first word I want to talk about is save. What do you think save means? When we have money and we talk about savings, what does that mean? Savings money or money that we would put into a save jar is going to be money that is going to be used for a long-term savings goal or basically something that you want to purchase with your money but it's gonna take a long time and a lot of money before you can afford that thing. So maybe it's a new car when you turn 16, or maybe you wanna save that money to go to college someday, or it could even be something like a new bike. Think of a big goal that you might have, that's what we're gonna use the money in our savings jar for. The second term I wanna talk about is spend. Now I'm guessing you probably know what we would do with money in the spend jar, but what do you think? Shout out the answer. If you said we spend the money in the spend jar, you are correct. Money that we would put into a spend jar is going to be money that we can spend pretty much at any moment. So if we have something, maybe we go to the store with our parents and we see a candy bar on the shelf that we really want we could take money from our spend jar and pay for that. The money in the spend jar is going to be money for smaller things that won't cost as much money and you can probably afford them if you just do a few chores or a few things to help out around the house. The last thing I wanna talk about is the share jar. Now, when you think of sharing, you probably think of sharing your toys, or maybe you share a treat that you bring into your classroom someday. That's a great thing, right? Sharing is definitely things like that. But when it comes to money, we talk about sharing with our local community. So if there is an organization that you are really passionate about and you wanna donate some money to that organization so that they can keep thriving and doing what they're doing for your community, that's what we're gonna use the money in the share jar for. So maybe you were really passionate about animals. You might wanna use the money in the share jar and give it to your local humane society. Or maybe one time you helped your parents serve food at a local food pantry. Maybe you'd wanna think about donating the share money to that food pantry. It's really fun because you get to decide what you do with that share money. You get to choose the organization that you're gonna to donate to. So now that we know what these three terms mean and we know kind of what, what to do with these jars, we're gonna talk about how we actually use these jars when we earn money, okay? So to do that, let's say this past weekend, I walked a lot of dogs, right? Maybe I went around the neighborhood and I walked all my neighbor's dogs and each of them gave me one or two dollars for doing it, just to say thank you. So after walking all those dogs, I earned $10. Awesome, right? So here I have $10 and I want you to count them out with me, okay? All right, let's do it together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now that we know we for sure have $10, I get to choose how I'm going to divide these up between my jars, okay? All of these dollars, every single one is gonna go into one of these jars, okay? Now, it might be helpful to talk with your parents first to decide how much you think is a good idea to put in each jar, 
But for this example, I'm gonna choose that saving is the most important thing for me, okay? And because it's the most important thing, that's where I'm gonna put the most money. So let's say I'm gonna put half of my $10, so $5 into the savings jar, okay? So let's get this all opened up. All right, so now we have to count out five of our dollars, okay? Ready, you ready to count with me? Shout out the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm gonna take these five dollars I'm gonna roll them up and I'm gonna stick them right into my savings jar, okay? I'm gonna close up that jar and now I have my savings money set. So now I have $5 left, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to do is divide these up between spend and share. So for this example, I'm gonna put $4 in my spend jar, okay? Because I still wanna be able to purchase some things soon. So let's count out $4, ready? One, two, three, four, good job. So now I'm gonna take those $4 and I'm gonna put them in my spend jar. So we'll open up my spend jar, roll up my dollars and stick them in. We'll close it up. So now how many dollars do we have left? Do you know? We put five in here and four in here. That means we have one dollar left over, okay? So now we're gonna put that dollar in what jar? What do you think? If you guess the share jar, you're right. So let's go ahead and open up my share jar. And I'm gonna take that dollar and I'm gonna stick it right in my share jar. We'll close it up. And so now, let's say next weekend I walk a few more dogs. Maybe I'll earn 10 more dollars. I'm gonna go and do the same thing. Anytime I earn money, I'm gonna divide it between these three jars so that I can save up for something really, really big in the future. I can still afford some of the things that I want soon and I can donate to a local organization. Now you might be thinking, that's great Brittany, but I don't know necessarily how to earn money. Maybe I can help my parents with some chores around the house. You could talk about what chores you could earn money to do. Maybe you start a dog walking business like I talked about. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you set up a secret business where you decide you're gonna cook dinner and set it up like a restaurant and charge each of your family members $1 to attend your restaurant. There's lots of things that you can do to help out and earn some money. So think about ways that you could do that. Maybe you, someday you wanna start your own business. You could think about doing a lemonade stand to help you start that out. There's lots of ideas. So talk with your parents and find a good idea. So now that we know how we use our save, spend, and share jars and a few ways that we can earn money, we want you to create your own save, spend, share jars. So like I said in the beginning, you could use three glass jars like I have here. You could use envelopes, you could use bowls, you could use old Pringles containers and you could decorate the outside of them. Have some fun with it. Pick out three things that you can put money in, decorate them and make them super fun looking. You could even put, if you were saving for a bike, you could put a picture of a bike on your savings jar. It's totally up to you. If you don't have anything that you can put money in or you just really don't know what to use, feel free to comment on this video, send us a message on Facebook, or send an email to social at cccu.com and we'll send you three plain white boxes that you can decorate all by yourself to use for your save, spend, and share money. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we can't wait to see you next time. Thank you.